people might kill us for this. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm speaking my truth. <laughs> So you can do what you do. Yo, these, yo, these old dudes, every time they want to make a point, nah, they, they, start, they, just start, know, bro. they start stamping their yeah, index right. cards. They start mm -hmm. clapping their index cards, mm -hmm. man. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know what the streets was, bro. And he was in Queens. You should have known that Nas and all them had the streets back then, bro. Nas came out in 94. LL was Nas already. Nas coming out in 94. Nas, yeah, Nas came out in 93. One year difference. If it is what? LL was already established. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that LL was still there, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't doing. All right, all right. Let's move. Yeah, let's, let's, move let's, on. Let's, on let's, right. let's, yeah. let's move on. We're we, 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 we gonna. We gonna. And sh and sh and sh shout out to Fifty Cent for opening up the uh, the Gina Studios in Shreveport, Louisiana. Because right, Queens, Queens keep winning. Queens keep winning. Queens get the money. Well, Queens always get Queens the get the money. money. Queens, New York get the money, and Queens, Charlotte get the money. That's right. You know what I mean? So you know. Oh, you know what I mean? So, right there, the LL thing. Ooh, I didn't know he was an LL fan like that. Man, come on, man. He's, yeah. He started it. And I love man. LL. Yeah. Well, but, I can't know, tell. But, but, but I just know when, I, when he lost me and I picked up something else. Okay. All right. Well, you know, 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 you pick it up. You got to put it back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what about Taraji Henson, man? She done made a stink of the whole thing and now she want everybody to go see the movie. The movie had bad. I heard it had bad. Like, I heard it had bad uh, reviews. So oh, not bad reviews, but bad opening, bad opening week. What, 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 what's up with that? Well, she basically was. There was a lot of rumors. They should have deaded those rumors early before the movie dropped, mm -hmm. and during when the movie premiered and everything like that. Got got all that out the way. Right. And um, so a lot of people probably didn't want to go see it. It it wasn't a big. It wasn't a big. Uh, a lot of the interviews building up to the um, to the movie Color Purple too. Mm -hmm. It just didn't. It wasn't it. It didn't give. It didn't give off what we needed to give. You know what, what I mean? Was it because it was a musical, or was it you know? I mean, people don't, as long as it's good, something good, good feeling, a good vibe. I mean, people can go out and watch it. I will tell you. I will tell you this. I think this is my thing with the color purple. First of all, that movie's an iconic movie. That's something. That's, that's a movie where you can watch on a Sunday all day. You're not doing anything. You can watch it. No matter, no matter how many times you saw it. Right. Plus, plus, you had iconic actors in it. Right. You had Adolf Caesar. Right. In that movie, you had Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. You know, you had Danny Glover. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get that type of talent and redo something. I think we should stop trying to redo classic movies, and mm. and, and, and just and try to do something mm. innovative and stop trying something to do the same thing. Something similar to Color Purple, yeah, but, but not, not the, the not same the name. thing. Change it's the not, name. Like, Taraji, yeah. so Taraji Pierce is a great actor. You know, uh, Fantasia. Is, you know, f oh, I'm sorry, actress. Mm -hmm. Love Fantasia. I love, I love, I love, I love our actors, actresses, and act actors. Mm -hmm. But I just think trying to redo these movies, whether it's a musical or what, is very difficult anyway because it's an automatic classic. I do not want to see. House Party One tried it, tried and redone over again. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see. Uh, 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 well, they did Total Recall with uh, 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 with Colin Farrell, and I love right. Colin Farrell to death. But the the joint with with Arnold Schwarzenegger is my Total Recall, right? And it was it was off the chain. Right. I don't want to stop redoing movies because the thing is, is that what you're doing is you're not being creative. You're sitting here and reinventing the wheel. Right. Instead, instead, instead of challenging yourself to come up with a new script and do something great, and and and, and that's so just hold on, that's ask you a question though. So you don't think that Friday, one, you, you don't think it should have been um, Friday at the next and those other? Honestly, I thought Friday was a one-off. That's just me. I didn't really. I thought Friday two was kind of. So now we wouldn't have Mike Epps and all these other uh, other comedians yeah, that came true. out after that. Th that's true, but you could never replace Smokey. You could never replace Smokey. Like Smokey is Smokey. Smokey was Smokey was Smokey. Though. Friday, I didn't, I honestly, it's never going to be better. And Mike, and, Mike, and Mike Epps, this is not a, not a, not a dig at you. I love, I, I love your comedy. I, mm -hmm. I, but I don't. I, I thought Friday two. I didn't. I didn't. And, and Cat Williams did Friday three and helped them out. And I get mm -hmm. it. It was nothing compared to Friday one. Like if Friday, Friday was Friday. It was Friday. It was something that we never seen. But, before. but that's a that's a sequel though. We're talking about redoing original movies. I don't listen. You know what? And honestly, I like Friday two and Friday three. I go, I go watch Friday two and Friday three. I'm talking about just doing the same movie all over again, regular movies, and trying to redo them. I think people need to stop that. You can't That's redo true. these movies because they were so great. Now, I guess, I guess, you know, like people don't understand Django. If you do your history in Hollywood, Django was actually a movie that was created 
Correct. Back in the 50s and 40s mm-hmm. with a, a, a cowboy who was white that fought against a clan. Mm-hmm. So they flipped it and took Jamie Foxx, put that in that role, right. and we did. But that was that was that was good. Mm-hmm. That was Quentin Tarantino, I gotta tell you, that, that was ex- ex- excellently writ- right. written. But color purple ain't even like this is 85. It ain't even 30 years out the box. Let it rock. You can't find it all had, season. Maybe they thought Oprah had the the um the power and, and and the lineup was gonna be was gonna be able to push it. He said uh, he said she got that nasty woman's disease. Mm. The way he said it, you can't you can't you can't. I mean, <laughs> what <do> you, say? <laughs> you gotta understand. A lot of people, a lot of people, not really. You know, yeah. let me leave it alone. I leave I leave that part alone. I'm look, not gonna, look, I'm look, not gonna... look. Glad we got some stability around here. <laughs> <laughs> you right gonna let that. that woman in your house mm-hmm. talk that way in front of your children? I mean, you can't. That's classic. Right. That's just my opinion. I'm sorry, but I don't listen. I'm. I, I'm I mean, I'm a I don't remember the color purple. The first one they was doing the little clap thing and all that. Oh yeah, they was you know, like, yeah, all that. They was doing yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah, in yeah. the in the little. In the, I don't lot. know what type yeah. of um was it cotton behind them and all that. I don't, I don't know what. I, I well, was actually, like, it was filming North Carolina. Actually, you you know you know my boy Neek. That's his family's land. Okay. We, 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 we go to infuse okay. with Neek and KP. Right. right KP. That's their family's land. Shout out to KP. They filmed they, fi- they filmed it on that land. Okay. But, but yeah, that right there. That was just. It was something that we never seen before yeah, yeah. back then, and we—I mean, it was like they brought us up to speed of what what it kind of kind of looked like, and it had a little bit of excellence because it was, some, you know, I mean, it wasn't all just slavery the, and whipping. The storyline was that. crazy. They took right. the, took our kids who were who were born who were, who were born into a, a, the situation and shipped them to uh, they, they got to go to Africa, but they found out they got people. We as Black Americans have not even been a lot of us haven't even been to Africa, our motherland. Right. So imagine going there in nineteen twenties or forties, mm-hmm. get, getting that realization, that foundation, and coming back, mm-hmm. and then finding your true mother. Mm-hmm. That was a powerful story. That's right. But why are we why are we trying to redo it? It's like trying to redo Roots. You can never do that, man. Look, man. And I Roots started now, down. man. And Roots was watered oh, down. Oh my God, very Trust watered me. down. Yeah. That, and that Turner thing wasn't watered down. Roots was watered down. Watered down. Yeah. Because I've seen some other down. movies that were um, that didn't get the shine that Roots. Mm-hmm. Back in those days, yeah. Um, I guess it's, it's a uh, one called Mandingo. Mandingo, I remember yeah, that. That's, yeah, what Ken, that's what that's what Ken uh, Ken uh, the boxer uh, uh, Ken Ken Norton. Yeah, I don't, know the, I don't know the actor. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Ken Norton, heavyweight champion. Yeah. He beat right, beat Ali. My he man's was, he about was, to get yeah. hung. Yeah, kiss my ass. Yep. And then hung his ass. Yeah, like I mean, no, no. They look. actually they actually put him in a cauldron of fire mm-hmm. and made him because the because he was messing because because the wife made him the wife got jealous because the because the because the master. Was going into the was going into the slave house and dealing with right. a slave. Yeah. So the wife got mad and started dealing with him. And he mm-hmm. was he was he didn't even want to do that. Right. And then the master found out because she had a she had a black she had right. a black kid. Right. Go yeah, watch crazy. Man Dingo on yeah, YouTube. That it's was up crazy. There. Go watch that. Y'all it's, see. It probably it probably it probably be on Tubi. So you you you're gonna have you gonna, gonna have some breaks. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But um, but but yeah, I mean like please let's let's, let's keep these originals original, man. Let let let, let these. Let these good movies go. Yeah. So, but like, but like, you know, like um, my mom had, had had me go to school, had me go to the library, and she had me watch Roots for a whole weekend, all volumes. And I and she's like, "This is this is what you are. This is what you come from. And right. you gotta you gotta understand that wherever you move in life, you're gonna be an African American male. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have to move accordingly to that. That's what my mom gave me. Mm-hmm. And if we don't do that with our children, or we don't give our children that that type of substance, right? We're doomed to fail. We gotta do it. You know what I mean? All cultures do it. So you, you know. have to. You have to. You have to. Uh, you gotta know you're struggling. Man. You gotta show them. You gotta yep. show them what's real. Yes. And what's you know? What I mean, I, I, listen. Now you, you guys see my daughter on here. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Uh, I shout do, to Lauren. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to Lauren Alana. Mm-hmm. And uh, we definitely we kick it like adults. She loves. She loves wisdom. She mm-hmm. loves knowledge. She doesn't accept nothing less than that. She, she wants truth. She anything lying or if ands or this and that. Mm-hmm. She just want to hear it. So um, what's next, bro? Like, uh, shout out to um, uh, Irie Nation Man. again. So Not when... Erie, Irie Nation. I, I've been there. Oh my god, I go there like this once a week. I'm sorry, and no, they're not paying me to do it. They're not paying me to say this, but I've been running. Listen, y'all got some money out of me. Y'all definitely got some money out of me. Absolutely. Planting those. Uh, I mean, hold on. Yeah, Don't plan. talk about that. Yeah, I, I, listen, uh, what I will say. Uh, it's a couple times I've been there, uh, Charlotte, I'm like, say it. Cousin L, say it. The plantings don't be there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Ah, yeah, I got I to gotta suck it up that they don't, it's not there. 
Ah, uh, they, they well, ran out. Oh, it's not there for the day. So they, what? So speaking of Ivory Nation, uh, restaurant restaurant week in Charlotte is coming up. Mm. So um, it's going to be from January 19th to the 28th, I believe. Mm-hmm. And um, um, a lot of restaurants are going to have participating restaurants are going to have discounts mm-hmm. on um, on you know or, or have like a meal that or have like a menu to where you can you know enjoy their food at a discounted rate. Um, have you ever attended that before or no? No, I'm not okay. here. Yeah. So you you being you being a new implant in Charlotte, you would really enjoy that. Absolutely, I'm going. Um, yeah, you got to check it out. Um, um, and uh, so, 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 you know, just just try it out. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. It's not Irie Nation, but it'll add to your palate in a different way. Shout out to Irie Nation. Yeah, you going to Irie Nation. Guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but you know what? I went to a new spot. What's that? I went to Nana Morrison's Soul Food. That ain't new. Everybody's been there before. Everybody how you been like there? it? Yeah, everybody. They had a whole damn yeah. layout there. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, I went over there. You can I tell he right. knew out here. Yeah, <laughs> and I got Hey, listen. Sometimes here's, here's the issue, but mm. when it comes to our culture, like if it ain't no money involved, we don't want to say it. Yeah, that's true. You know that's what true. I mean? And no, I'm gonna get the flowers and flowers. Dude, that was a mm. pretty good meal. It was a good meal. It was a good meal. It got be two. It got be two. Um, but two sides, two mm. meats. I was in there. Yeah. Awesome. I, yeah. <laughs> two meats. <laughs> they had to lay it out. That fried chicken was glistening too, but you know I, I'm trying to. Oh my to... god! No, just... Stop! <laughs> stop! 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 All right, we, right, we get it. We get it. It was good. It? it was good. It, that, it was. It was. It was, it was, it was, it was very, very nice. I, I appreciate it. All right, so all right. at the end of the day, shout out to them. So also, uh, I wanted to highlight uh, BNS Productions. They're actually doing a, a piano lesson. Is the name of the of the play, and it'll be at the Par Center at C, CPCC, February first through the fourth. Um, looks interesting. I definitely want to take my kids to go check it out. Um, I think you know we should, uh, you know, the audience and you know we're here. We should probably you know check mm-hmm. that out. Um, I'm getting some good vibes and good good tones from what I'm seeing from the from the uh, production preview and actually the uh, flyer. So uh, got it. That's something that we should definitely uh, uh, touch on. So yeah, yeah, I want to do right. that. So um. Let's wrap this up, man. I mean, what's up? With, I know it's a lot of um, NFL going on, playoffs. Yeah. So basically, uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, uh, Buffalo lost to uh, Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City's going to be going in there. Uh, yeah, the, Ra- the, Ra- the Ravens Buffalo are in. So it's going to be the Ravens and Kansas. So I don't think it's going to be Lamar. If I'm not mistaken, it's Lamar. It's going to be Lamar against uh, um, uh, Patrick Holmes. Mm. That's going to be a showdown. That's uh, gonna be a damn showdown. Um, I went to school in Morgan State, so I'm going with Lamar because uh, I'm, I, I'm a Giants too. fan. But I'm a I'm, I, I've got too many years in Baltimore, so I'm mm. not gonna. And you, you say Baltimore, you say Baltimore. You don't mm. say Baltimore. So I'm if you with say them Baltimore, too, so I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't even hate on that. You can't hate on nah, that. I can't huh? hate on that. Nah. Yeah. Detroit yeah. won, right? Detroit, Detroit, Detroit won today. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. it's a lot of Detroit fans yeah. just popping out of nowhere talking. Yeah. This shit down. They talk, they talking. They ain't, they ain't been around for a long time. They ain't been around since Barry Sanders was running for his life. Right, I, I feel yeah. they need it. Yeah, they yeah. need it over there. And, and they need I'm, it over there. Yeah, and yeah. I big up to big up to yeah. Detroit. A lot of people sleeping on Detroit. That's a great place to buy some real estate, y'all. Trust me. Don't tell. Uh, yeah, let me be quiet. I'm about to, yeah. I'm just it, being it, honest. It, 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 it was it, better it, twenty it, years it was, ago, but still good. Well, you know, you, you know, your boy lost a lot of money buying real estate. I think he did it the wrong time. Though. It's all about Tommy, um, Antoine Walker. Mm. You know, he was there. He had um, that's the thing. Like he invested a lot in Detroit, from what I heard. Mm. But it was at the wrong time. He lost, he lost some money, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but now it's rising up. But it's certain parts. Um, Detroit has a lot of work to do. Um, I but I, I love, I love. Yeah, but I have I a lot of, I have a lot of family in the city. It's going to build back up. Yeah, man. trust me. Detroit's a nice little area to, to get. To, do some things, man. Yeah. You ever heard about Gary, Indiana? Yeah. Because Gary, you know, you go to Gary. So Michael Jackson was um, was born and raised yeah. there. Yeah. So if you go to Gary, you could buy a house in Gary for like nine grand. Mm. And it's not too far from Chicago, like an hour. I think it's an hour if I'm not mistaken. Um, but like what happens is that I think with real, real estate trends, you have to look at what they're looking to regentrify. And I think that we don't we you know I'm not saying we don't I think we are now but we're like a little behind the ball seeing seeing what's yeah, coming but seeing what's coming and mm-hmm. not what's going because like it's like a stock market once it's going up everybody's jumping on it so it's already late you got to get it before it goes up that's how you right. you know what I mean so um, Detroit Detroit is Detroit, Detroit is you know is 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 coming up now but there are still a lot of abandoned homes in Detroit you got to be careful where you invest and. 
things like that. But it is coming up. Now that's not a slight Detroit. It's, 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 it's everywhere. Like you know, you, you can nice you, piece of property. Yeah, out we there. can sit here and buy property out in Lan- in Lancaster, right? Lancaster mm-hmm. is right outside of Rock Hill. Rock Hill is getting better in South Carolina, but at the same time, Lancaster had a long way to go, right. and and it's a great place. I would buy land in Lancaster. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're going to put the practice facility at Dave Tepper said he was going to put Trust out me, put coming. out there. So, but it's going to come. Mm-hmm. But people are going to. We talked about earlier buying land. My grandfather always said there will be you. You, you can do whatever you want, but there'll be no more of this. Got to buy land. You got to own. Yeah, absolutely. Got to own, brother. I definitely agree you with you. You got to own. Man. You know what I mean? So right. let's do our cap session. All right. So let's just, just do it. Well, I'm, I'm going to let you do it this time because, you you know, I, I always do it. So I mean, well, listen. Ask me a question. You were on some LL stuff, man. Like, like, what was that about? Okay. So let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. And we go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who are you taking? You taking LL or Ice Cube? <laughs> this is, let me be real. Who had more I thought impact? you. I thought you was real the whole no, time. No, no, no. Man, come on, like you talking about the, who am I taking? Like you just, I was basically just saying that that Ice Cube could compete. That's what I was saying. Uh, okay. LL, I got listen. If they could dig up this little photo of me, my sister, my brother, we was all dancing to LL. Mama mm-hmm. said, "Knock you out." So mm-hmm. if you, I find that footage. I'm gonna be really in the doghouse, so I gotta pick LL. Okay, okay. You know what I mean, it was like the Jada, Jada Pinkett and, and Tupac. Mm-hmm. That little, that little yeah, thing. Yeah, we yeah. did the same thing. We went to the Meadowlands in New oh, Jersey, right. and they filmed us. We was on there, and my man, I was all on there, okay, dancing okay. around. So yeah, so ab- absolutely LL. Okay, but you was big LL up too much. I had to, you know, come on. <laughs> okay, well, I think, I think at the end of the day, I, I'm gonna go with LL all day. You know, all right. So hold on, Nas and Mob Deep first album. Well, nah, that's a group, not the. Well, so what? Just the impact. You from Queens? And you know what album I'm talking about? About the Infamous album, not the one before that. So you talking, you're talking about album for album? You think so? We're going against Infamous or Illmatic? Album for album. Album, album. So Infamous versus Illmatic? Yes. Oh, that's a hard that's one. That's right. Words. A lot of people sleeping on that. that I will. I will. I will say. I will say this, and I might catch flag for this. Mm. Infamous to me was a better album. Yes, it was a better you. album. I think, no it, I think, I think, I think, I think, I, I think, I think it was a better album. And I'm not, I'm not saying Omatic didn't change the game, mm-hmm. um, but for me, and Shook Ones just got voted as one of the top songs of hip hop of all time. It's number yeah, one, it's number one, number one song of all time. Mm-hmm. But to me, and I know people might kill us for this. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm speaking my truth. I love mm-hmm. Illmatic, the infamous, crazy, crazy. And there's no skip buttons there's on that. There's no skip buttons. But this, even this, this, you can get away and drink away the pain. Oh, man. Temperature's rising, brother. No, my joint, that joint, and then it was a joint where it was a it was a sunny day. Drowning in my, my, my oh, club with a 40. 40. This one, yeah. I got a call from this brown yeah. skin shorty. Yeah. Trife life. Yeah. Q, you hectic? Yeah. Nah, man. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, people don't, people, people sleep on prodigy so much and well, they said his, that first album he was on his apex oh my god no 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 I think the first three um hell on, kind hell of on. slipped a little bit listen I ran my prize you know that that's yeah, my yeah, name yeah, you know yeah. I mean? but mm. I just feel as though he let me not say what I think I just believe that he just was like so confident that I believe that he thought he can kind of push someone not to take things so serious with his lyrics because that infamous album was ridiculous where he was coming to me to me hell on earth and I think I think I think music, music um, murder music. I think there. I think I think, I think Hell on Earth is a four, a four out of five. Murder music to me is a, is a five out of five. All right, um, Wu Tang. Five out of five. All right, so the Nas is eliminated right now. So now we're doing Wu Tang or the Infamous. I don't think anything. Infamous is one of my best albums of all time. I will say that all day. I think it's a tie. Yeah. I, infamous to me is Wu Tang with OD, yeah, ODB, me. Method, yeah. and all that. that was a I, but, but see, I'm biased because I'm from Queens and I relate, I relate right. to it more. Like, I remember going. No, I get it. I, I remember taking them, those train those train buses, the, taking a train and going through Brooklyn and having to worry about going through Grant, Utica, and everything else and getting back home to Far Rockaway and going to Jamaica. Like, mm-hmm. I remember I remember like being on a train, like, yo, somebody going to jump me, I'm going to have some problems. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's, I just, so I don't know, like, I know Staten Island, not like them, mm-hmm. and, and Wu is Wu. Woo is woo. That's Don't get it twisted. Right but like, I just relate more. I think people look at music you know, you know more than what they relate to. I'm from to. Jersey. I relate more to Wu. Mm-hmm. But that infamous album, at the time how we was living in it's that It's a masterpiece. Thing, yeah. It's a masterpiece. That infamous bro. album. A lot of people, and I've been seeing it. I've been seeing on other, other, other podcasts, mm-hmm. and they bring up Mob Deep or this. Mob Deep or that. And I'm like, a lot of people be picking other groups or other people. No, there's And no, I'm that, like, whoa, that, that yeah. Inf- 
That infamous. Y'all gotta, that, y'all gotta stop that disrespecting the mob. And then because no. I, 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 you I'm know what I mean? Like we did business two together worlds and all that. Trying to get dough, you know when the dough Man, get low, the juice go. go. But never, never that. that. Those people crap. I'm gonna block, block hustle and count my stacks. stacks. Yeah. Oh my god, they so were in like, their bag. They were in their bag. That they album right there bag, is probably. I'm being honest, mm. and I'm about to, and I'm probably, I'm probably, people gonna probably, we might lose some followers after I say this, mm. but to me, that album is better than Biggie's um at first album. Not his second, his first. Not his second. Not his second. No, not his second. His, his second is hard to beat. It's his Nobody's first. beating that second album. No. I don't care what nobody's right. nobody that was that, that was the blueprint. That was a blueprint to everything. To everything. I agree but, with you. I agree. I agree with you hundred percent. Right. I mean, we're 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 we're, 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 we're locked. It's hard for me to say that. It's hard for hard for me to say that too. Because it's Biggie, yes. and it's like he yes. came out with those yes. big records. Yes. His, but you got to understand, that a lot of those records were after after the fact of the album. Yep. Like get money and yep. like um, yep. um the remixes, the remixes, the remixes that made up one more it chance. Made, it felt like one it was more on the album, but yeah. it wasn't, and it was yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and then Biggie the B sides, who shot dope, you? But yeah. damn, that infamous album Yo, was crazy. Nah, anybody that doesn't that never heard that infamous album, go listen to it. But and see, and see, see, never, never album was, uh, it was a certain uh, time uh, was living. This, another was living album, another album that people were comparing. Listen, people were people don't understand those times because that times mm -hmm. another album was supposed to be the classic was The Shining with Smith and Wesson. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And, yeah. but but see a that's lot right. of the, a lot of but if you listen to, and in Black Moon, but if you listen to a lot of those songs, they were on the B sides mm. and not on the actual album. The Shining was a crazy ass album too. Yes, and yes, and so was. the Shining because I was we we know those terms. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And people don't people don't give people don't give Smith Weston their props. Mm. Well, you know what? They were there, you but know like what it is? infamous. No, Here, man. Here's infamous, the thing. No, here's the thing. When we got like when I say like go 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 listen to it, right? So somebody listened to it. They're never going to get the impact that we got because no. we were living it in real time. We were time. living it, yep. They say 4K, living it in 4K, or living it in real time. We were actually living it. The dress, the, the whole movement of the streets, everything was about that. That album was crazy. That album was ridiculous. But I, mean, I, I still say, Lawrence, I'm telling you, I still say, I will tell you all day, murder music. Like, like I didn't, like people, people like hearing the Little Kim version. Mm -hmm. I want to hear P's three verses. Spaghetti head, mom, niggas is full bread, spooly yeah, blown yeah, melanin yeah, tone. Yeah, yeah. I rock skeleton yeah, bone shirts yeah, and yeah. verses, thirst for worse yeah, beats. So yeah. I could put more product out on the streets. Yeah, like, I was sick with it. P, P was, P, listen. Give me flowers. But to me, P was the voice of Queens. And uh, t to me. And when P passed away, I was in my house on the porch mm -hmm. crying. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like I lost part of my childhood growing Absolutely. up. Our, our childhood, our teenage years, whatever we was doing, whatever we got into, you know, we just felt right looking a certain way, walking a certain way, and hearing right. certain... And, 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 had and, it. We, my dude had it. They had it. And shout out to, shout out to Pete, because I actually was on the Blood Money tour. Um, shout out to Sam Scarfo, my brother, you know what I mean? Um, actually, Scarfo's out there doing shows. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Scarfo. But definitely, I was around P a lot, um, doing, um, you know what I mean, Scarfolds, Def Jam Days, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely definitely a good dude, man. I, I can't say nothing. Shout out to about Littles. Him. Shout out to Littles. Shout yeah, out to all the people who wasn't around us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Littles that went and did his own business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know too much about what the little thing, but I heard good things about him. Yeah. Yeah, I met him in the barbershop one time. He like he actually just he actually I was spitting a verse. I was at a uh, Justin's barbershop and he was like, yo, I'll tell you where we were at when he when he, he was in the when, when P was in the studio spitting mm -hmm. that verse. You know what I mean? I look at P's one of my best MCs. So right. I mean, I mean yeah, like, so, yeah, it's all good though. Yeah, I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna do too crazy and we yeah. can go listen, we can go all day yeah. and run this run the whole clock up. Yeah. Shout out to Charlotte. Y'all stay warm. Yeah. And uh, hopefully next time we get we see some sun, maybe. No, I mean we saw sun today. The sun was just cold. The sun, the, the, uh, the sun had a fur coat on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know. Listen, man, I'm in my truck, man. Uh, I'm mink, freezing them all. Full mink, son. Yeah. For, the, listen, I remember I wore a little little mink thing when y'all was all laughing at me, and I walked up in the little yeah. Mink. I, I walked up in the bar and all that. Yeah. So I wasn't wearing none of them jackets out here. Nah, wear it out here, man. You gotta do you. You gotta, you gotta be the best version of you. <laughs> I had, I had a mink on show you making fun of me because you said it. They got me though. They like, oh, it was, it was a fake squirrel. But it, you, 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 you never know. It was that, a squirrel because shoes were like seven hundred though. Right. Okay. But 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 the jacket was like one fifty. Right. You had a fake <laughs> mink. Uh, I had a mix and match. Right. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I mean, listen. How, how bad it look? Nah, I was fly. I was sure? fly. Yeah. I had, yeah. I think it was on, it was you had the, the pictures on? up there. I would call it feathers. I had the, had the goose. <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, yeah. yo. So uh, this, this episode is a wrap. Thank you guys for being out and, uh, and listen, listen to our banter and uh, and our and our wor- words of wisdom, as we call it. Um, you guys be safe. Have a good one, cousin That's L. Right. You got anything you want to close with? Nah, just to stay warm. Ha, ha, ha.